Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Solidify Modifier. Blender's Solidify Modifier adds an extruded thickness to flat or thin meshes. To demonstrate the Solidify Modifier, I placed a modeled corner wall-like object in my Blender scene. One wall section has a modeled arch door and two arched window cutouts and a circular window cutout. The other has a modeled rectangular door and two rectangular window cutouts. The wall object has no extruded dimension. With the wall object selected, I'll click on the modifier icon in the properties panel and add a modifier. I'll select the solidify modifier. I'll set the thickness control to 0.6. Note that the modifier has extruded the cornered wall object, including all the doors and window openings. However, if we look closely, there's a bit of a distortion where the walls meet. To remove this distortion, check mark the Even Thickness box in the Solidify Modifier panel. This evens out the thickness of the extrusion at the corner. There are a few important points here to note when using the Solidify Modifier on architectural type objects, like a cornered wall. First, make sure that the object has no smoothing attached to it. Here I will click on the Smooth button. Any smoothing will create artifacts at the wall openings. I'll go back to Flat. Secondly, the faces that meet in the corner need to be all quad faces. I'll tab into Edit Mode and turn off the real-time display of the modifier. No matter how the edge structure is modeled to accommodate any of the wall openings, the corner edges cannot be part of any triangular face. More specifically, none of the corner vertices can be part of a triangular face. I will turn back on the real-time display of the Solidify modifier. Now while I'm in edit mode, I'll zoom in a bit at the bottom of the arch door and select all of the vertices. Note that the default extrusion of the original object was towards the inside along the face normals. This is because the default offset thickness is set to minus 1. The offset thickness controller ranges from minus 1 to positive 1 and determines the offset of the thickness of the extrusion from the center. I'll set the offset to 0. Notice that the extrusion, or perhaps solidification is a better word, is perpendicular to the normals in both directions. I'll set the offset to 1. Now the extrusion is toward the outside along the face normals. I'll tab out of edit mode. By default, the Fill Rim checkbox is activated. Fill Rim places faces of the solidified edges. I'll uncheck the Fill Rim checkbox. The wall is extruded, but the edges have no faces. I'll check the Fill Rim checkbox. And then go to layer number 2. Here I have a hemisphere object, actually a UV sphere cut in half. I've also removed some of the faces in the side of the hemisphere, in effect cutting a hole in it. I'll select the hemisphere and add a solidify modifier. I'll set the thickness to 0.2. The hemisphere is now solidified. I'll add a subsurface modifier to the hemisphere object. I'll set the view and render settings to 3. Notice that as a result of the subsurface modifier, the top faces of the solidified hemisphere are rounded. The solidify modifier has a set of crease controls that allows this top edge to be creased and thus flat. I will increase the inner crease control in the solidify modifier panel to about 0.5. I'll then increase the outer crease control to about 0.5. This creates a nice flat surface on the top faces of the hemisphere. Looking at the hole in the side of the hemisphere, we can see that the solidified faces here are also rounded. I'll increase the rim crease control to about 
This produces a much flatter cutout surface. I'll go to layer 3. Here I have modeled two filled circles into an interlocking disk-like object. I'll select the disk and add a solidify modifier. I'll set the thickness to 0 0.09. I'll check mark the even thickness so that the intersecting corners are equally solidified. I'll add a bevel modifier and I'll set the bevel width to 0 0.09 and check mark only vertices. I'll go to layer 4. Here I have a vase-like object that I modeled using Blender's spin tool. Now I have already added a subsurface modifier to the vase with the view and render control set to 3. I'll add a solidify modifier and set the thickness to 0.2. The vase is solidified. Notice that the top rim of the vase is fairly flat already. Adjusting the inner and outer crease controls in the solidify modifier panel have no effect on the vase object. This is because, unlike the hemisphere object, the solidify modifier comes after the subsurface modifier. I'll move the solidify modifier so that it comes before the subsurface modifier in the modifier stack. Now the inner and outer crease controls have an effect on the vase object. I'll set the inner and outer crease control settings to 1. 